Since the release of Sonic Frontiers back in November, its soundtrack has been consistently talked about. More specifically, the Titan battle themes. Hearing the majestic opening of Undefeatable play for the first time you fight Giganto was a magical moment, and that couldn't have been done without Kellen Quinn, the lead singer of Sleeping With Sirens. When Sonic Frontiers first came out, I had no idea who this was, but Undefeatable has become not only my favorite Sonic song, but my favorite song in general. It is phenomenal. But then I decided, if all the songs in Frontiers are this good, I wonder if his band's music is just as good. I thought it'd be fun if I ranked every main Sleeping With Sirens album, because over the last couple months, I have been listening to them non-stop. It's so damn good. But anyways, we start off with number 7, Gossip. I've heard that this isn't a very well-liked album, and I can see why. It's a very big departure from what the band is known for, and even the songs that are metal or rock don't hit nearly as hard as the other albums. However, the song Cheers is my favorite song of the album, it's, it's really good. The way it references the album Let's Cheers to This is really, really good. <laughs> It's definitely not a bad album, it goes for more of a pop feel, which it's not bad actually, some of them are actually pretty good. It's just that I came to Sleeping With Sirens for, you know, heavy metal and like rock. It feels a bit weaker compared to that in that area. It's still good, I just don't think it's as good as the others. Number 6. With ears to see and eyes to hear. I know this is a fan favorite, and I've really tried listening to it over and over to try and appreciate it more, but I just find myself not loving it as much as the other albums. Personally, the melodies in the songs didn't really stick with me as much, and it doesn't really make me want to sing along to it, and I'm not sure why. I feel bad saying it because I know this is a very loved album. My favorite song here is definitely In Case of Emergency, Dial 411. I really like how high his voice gets, and it just, it feels like he's really trying to save somebody. If you listen to the song, you'll understand it. Saying all this though, I still do think this album is like a 7 out of 10, I do really like it, it just didn't grab me as much. Number 5, Madness. I'm pretty sure that this is another fan favorite, and again, I really wish I liked it more, but currently nothing here really sticks out to me other than a few specific songs. And I really want to point out now, if I say it doesn't stick out to me, I don't think it's bad, I just think it's not for me specifically. That being said, I can see why the song The Strays is popular. I don't listen to it that often though. What I do listen to a lot is the song Kick Me. The energy of that song is so high, and the total fuck you all energy that the song is just screaming is so nice. It's like, it screams middle school. I would I would have loved this if I was in middle school. Better Off Dead it genuinely made me tear up the first time I heard it. The flashbacks that I experienced on both my own life and old friends, and just a lot of stuff. The song hits hard, both musically and lyrically. Both Kick Me and Better Off Dead are definitely my favorites on this album. Number 4. Feel. Great album. Congratulations is definitely my favorite song. The blasting guitar is amazing and it continues to stick in my head all these months later. Not only that, but Kellen Quinn and Maddie Mullins work very well together. Their voices just connect. The song These Things I've Done is a great headbanger, the opening with the drums is just great. This album is full of just a lot of good songs. Deja Vu, Low, Sorry, The Best There Ever Was, it's all good. However, I think this album is a little bit lower for me because most of these songs I'd say are like a 7 out of 10. It's a consistently good album, but nothing is like amazing other than one or two songs. Number 3. How It Feels To Be Lost. At first, I wasn't really into this album, but then I kept listening to it, and yeah, I really like this album now. Leave It All Behind, I wasn't really sold on at first, but I've been screaming the song when I drive home from school the past couple weeks, so yeah, it's incredible. I think it hits even harder because that song was like the big moment where fans said, whoa, they're back to actually doing rock after the last album, which was Gossip. At least I think it was, I'm not 100% sure on that. I really like the song Ghost as well, it's a little bit slower paced, but it's still really catchy. Oh, I really like how the song like slowly swells up, so then even at like the, the last chorus, orchestral instruments are used, which is amazing. It works incredibly with Kellen Quinn's voice. And Dying to Believe, that was also just great. The way it slowly just builds up again, and then it just like, it just crashes. It, it's, I'm gonna play the clip of it, but like, it's it's so good, that song. I really, really recommend listening to that one. Overall, this is a great album. Definitely should listen to this one. I think every song on this is great. Number two, 
Let's cheers to this. This is their second album, and again, it's another fan favorite. Yeah, this one, I adore this album. If You Can't Hang is literally their most famous song. It's a super catchy song, and everything in it just works so well. Me and my girlfriend love singing that one. Do It Now, Remember It Later is just another damn good one. Another song that's just, you know, fuck you vibes, but it just rocks so hard. But it also just feels like a lot more uplifting. I don't know. Both the songs, Postcards and Polaroids and Your Nickel Ain't Worth My Dime, are both just really feel-good songs. I really get a dumb grin listening to them. It's just, they're just really good songs. I will say, though, I'm not a fan of how, for both of these songs, um, they never really say the title of the song in the song. I'm not a fan of when songs do that. However, my favorite song in this album is definitely A Trophy Father's Trophy Son. It's such a powerful theme and topic. It really felt like Helen Porter's heart into that song. It feels very personal and, as usual, very catchy and energetic. Father, father, tell me where are you now? And number one, Complete Collapse. So with all the other albums, there's a couple songs that I'm like, not really a fan of, or like, they're just, they're alright. With this album, every single song, I think is fantastic. The song Complete Collapse is so good. It's like, it's really heavy. I don't even know what to say. It's, it's so catchy though. Every single part of it just makes me smile. And then you have the song Crosses. Like, I'm just gonna play the one section of the guitar, and that should sell you on the song. And then there's the song Tyrants. Dude, when that opening played, I was just floored into my chair. I was not expecting it to go that hard, but my god. And then there's the song Control Alt Delete, and that drum opening, dude, these openings are so goddamn good. Apathetic is also a really nice rock song. Let You Down is a lot more chill, but it just has a really nice melody. And Bloody Knuckles, like, dude. The synthesizers almost sound like guitar- or actually, it might be guitars, I don't actually know. And it's like, you can hear very faintly in the background, it's like, oohs and ahs. It's, it, it sounds great. Dude, listen to the album. So yeah, that's my ranking of all the Sleeping With Sirens albums. They're great. This band is phenomenal. I am just- so happy that Sega chose Kellen Quinn to sing the songs in Sonic Frontiers, because I would never have found out about this band if it wasn't for Sonic Frontiers. I am a big Crush 40 fan, but I would love to see Kellen Quinn stick around in this series, because Undefeatable alone has really changed the way that just a ton of people see Sonic. It really does feel like a new direction of not only Sonic, but just the music of Sonic in general. It really has just opened my eyes to like, whoa, this is like a whole new area of Sonic that I could fall in love with. I really, really hope they keep him around and just go crazy with more songs like this. It doesn't have to be the majority or anything like that, but please make more of this. Don't throw Kellen Quinn out because he is far too good to just let go. Anyways, thank you for watching. This is a very different video from what I usually make. I just really wanted to make this for a while. And yeah, it's I had fun making this. So if you guys like this, I don't know, maybe I'll rank some other artist stuff. I don't know. Probably not. Anyways, yeah. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. This last part is for my girlfriend. I just really want to add in her favorite part of the song, If You Can't Hang, You're the Best.